when Stanford called and, and told me that they had they extended the invitation for me to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I was honored, I was excited. To me, when something like this happens, it's a testament to the team. We had a great team. We had 15 guys that were all committed to one goal. And really, there were a lot of great teams before that, and there have been a lot of great teams after that. So it, it just so happens that this individual honor, which I'm accepting, to me, it really is shared out equally across every player that I played with and really every player that's been part of this program. But when I got here, I, I had never been on a weightlifting program that was so consistent. I had never practiced so consistently during the season, in the spring, in the summertime. I'd never run at the track as consistently as we did it here. And so I found that when you worked on something on such a regular basis, day in and day out, you start seeing a lot of cumulative effects just from doing it over the course of years. You start seeing benefits that just come out of nowhere because you're working on it every single day. So I think consistency was a huge lesson that I learned. In the classroom, you're here at Stanford, you're surrounded by people from all different countries, all different parts of the United States, all different back backgrounds, and so you, you learn a lot from your classmates. I think just the exchange of ideas that happens here at Stanford is, is meaningful to me. I remember I took a labor economics class. The professor asked a question and I answered it. There was probably 80 people in the classroom. I thought I gave a great answer. Well, a classmate of mine raised, raised her hand. The professor said, does anyone have any counter points of view to what the student just said. And a classmate raised her hand and she completely shot down everything I said. <laughs> and I, th I think the class w was happy with her response because it was just a classic example of someone making a point and someone having that healthy debate. It opened my eyes to ideas from across the spectrum and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. And so being back here and just seeing what this university has done and all of the people, the students, the supporters, the, the faculty, the professors, it, it, it's such a group. It, it, it's a group of people that are committed to one thing. Hey, let's, let's do the best we can do. And so I just, as I was driving around, I just, I felt very fortunate for the time I was able to spend here and really for the people and relationships that, that came into my life and that I'm able to stay in touch with. Um, the friendships, that's probably what I'm most grateful for. Stanford has grown so much. And I think this is a place, educationally, that it really did change my life. 